I'm Spencer, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Crossfire. In part one, we're going to set up the transmitter, and we're going to upgrade the firmware. Let's get started. Crossfire! 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 First step is plug in the USB cable. Also, notice I'm using a USB 2.0 hub. That's because USB 3.0 devices, especially on Macs, sometimes won't recognize the Crossfire properly. You'll get an error when you read 97%, like this one. The second step is to install the TBS agent. It only runs on Windows, and you can download it from teamblacksheep.com. I use a Mac, so here you can see I'm running Windows inside of a virtual machine. To install the agent, go to RC Electronics, Transmitter Modules, and scroll down until you see Download TBS Agent. It's a .exe file which you can just double click to install. Here, because I'm running Windows inside of a virtual machine, I have one extra step. I need to transfer the USB port from my Mac over to Windows by clicking here. The agent will automatically detect the currently installed firmware and check online for any newer versions. Mine came with 2.0.6 out of the box and currently has 2.11 installed. There's a newer version at the time of the recording, 2.12, and if I check on the bottom, check unstable releases, there's also a beta, 2.24. I've tried all three and all three work perfectly fine. I recommend going with the latest, most stable one. To update the firmware, just hit update and then yes, and then wait anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. Once the upgrade is complete, it'll reboot, and then you can check and see that the current firmware version has been updated. That is how to upgrade the firmware on the transmitter. If this has been helpful, hit the like button. If you encounter any issues, leave a comment. We'll try and figure it out. 